Welcome back to another episode of Caswell Customs and today we're finishing the center console. So uh, you've seen our previous videos. If you haven't, go check those out after you watch this or maybe before. Either way, check out both videos. But uh, finally got the center console. Pretty much we're going to get it finished up today. Uh, I'm going to give you a sneak peek because we're filming this intro after I shot the whole video. But bam! So this is all hooked up and the cable is hooked up and the electrical is in for the plus and minus up down shift. So this bad boy is ready to rip, but uh, check out this video. You'll see how we added in the CB radio, got that all hooked up. some huge progress we've got this rear panel on we've got our side panel. we've got our cb radio cup holder shifter in nice uh attached in there handbrake so pretty much all together now we just need to run the shifter cable to the transmission and bolt this thing in and then uh once i re-gear the rear can uh plumb up the hoon handle but Looking beautiful. Let's go throw it in the truck. Is it shifting? It says I'm stuck in reverse now. <laughs> like 
Did you start the shifter column in the same position as the transmission yeah, was? I put them both. It says in the directions. Put them both to park. Yep. But now I can't even find. There's reverse. There's neutral. I can't even put it in drive. And I can't get it back to park. Hold on. Let me go underneath. Or no, I'm in park right now, but it says I'm in reverse. So there's park, there's reverse, and I can't get it out of reverse. So we've got the factory one. It's got this little bend on it. This one is perfectly flush, and it is contacting... That's what connects to the cable, the yeah, shifter cable. the shifter cable down underneath the truck. And because it doesn't have this notch, this contacts the transmission pan and doesn't let us shift past reverse. So either we make a new bracket, bend that one, or cut the two, mix them together so we have the notch and the same size nipple. Because the issue is, yeah, the nipples are not the same height, and I need this nipple for that new cable. <laughs> I think we can slightly bend this. All right, so we put a put it in the vise, put a slight bend on it. Now he's going to put it back. That connects to what, the valve body? Next to this shifter cable right and here. And then hook it up and then we'll give it a shot. Yep. Reverse. Neutral. Get a little funky. Drive. Manual one. And that should be it. Yeah, bottom out. Alright, go ahead and shift back and see what happens. So from manual to drive is a little wonky. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. I just, I did it by hand. All right, so anytime you want to make adjustments to your shifter cable, whether it's, whether you're doing a new build or a custom build, sometimes it's a little too long, a little too short. So on this particular one, you have a, a black cover. You're gonna depress it first, pull it off the, uh, the bracket, depress the black cover, and you'll see this um, this little plastic piece, you're going to snap it off or snap it up on both sides and you'll notice that the black cover is now retained. So now you can adjust your length, set it to where you want, depress that white piece again, you'll hear it click into place. The black cover now slides into the over the white piece covering it, snap it back onto your bracket and now it's adjusted. So you're going to have to play, Use it's easiest with two people. Have someone in the truck, shifting through the gears, making sure everything's feeling smooth, and make adjustments from there whether you need more or less. All right, so we have our shifter pulled out. Uh, just pretty much it's a Torx T30 to unbolt it. You unplug it from right there, and then basically the new one comes with this that plugs right in. Get this all put together, wired in, and we're good to go. Okay, so as you can see, we now have everything hooked up. So uh, this is obviously not plumbed up, but the thing is, we added the CB radio into here now. Got the shifter fully hooked up and the electrical wired. Um, got the old shifter out of here, so this is no longer in the way. So uh, not gonna start the truck up because I've got some parts of the engine disassembled, but um, you know, hit the brake, put it in reverse, neutral, drive, manual, and then you can go all the way back up into park. Truck locks up in park. We're unlocks in park. We're good to go. So. So, you know, the interior has come along phenomenally. I am super happy with how this turns out. There's still a couple little things I'm gonna change here and there. Um, I am looking at mounting a, a phone pretty much right here. So I'm just gonna get like a, uh, like a phone holder that would be up on your dash and just screw the hole and tighten it in right there. So I can have my phone there plugged into USB. Obviously got the cup holders, I still gotta glue down. So I gotta put it in our rear hatch, but I mean, this is, uh, this is all good to go. So uh, now we just gotta, well we found out we gotta pull the motor. Um, I got low compression in one of the cylinders, gotta do a compression test to figure out what's going on there. So uh, pulling the motor, 
Gonna cam it, new lifters, new push rods, new springs. Full rebuild, baby. Full rebuild. Uh, if we got it out, probably do the torque converter too as well. And then uh, that's pretty much everything drive line wise that we're looking at doing. So, you know, rebuild the engine, torque converter. We already regeared the front, gonna regear the rear, do dual brakes. So these projects are getting expedited super quickly. But if you wanna see them all happen, hit that subscribe button. Uh, once again, I'm Vinny with Casual Customs. We got Brent behind the camera. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now?